Secrets to having a 10 year and plus marriage. We've been married for 20 years. Yeah, I know, but so says that this will give us more clicks. Oh, okay. So secrets to being married more than two years plus times 10. Is that going to get us even more views? Because more know. people can relate to that. No, the idea was that we were going to tell you we've been married 20 years. Mm -hmm. And the idea was that we were going to tell you what we think have been the best tips to stay married this long. And when I, when we, were, we sat down to write the list, <laughs> this one goes, I compromise, you tolerate me. I said, whoa. And then the third one, it's I said- true, do you want examples? No, because when we got to communication, yeah. I said, oh, it's all about communication. And Steve said something that wowed me. That's me, hi. Because he's not a very talkative guy. And he said, well, we used There's to communicate no well. And then what happened? Then you asked if we needed to go to couples therapy. <laughs> no, but what happened? What, what, why do you oh, think the communication has been stumped? Uh, the pandemic, um, spending much more time together, uh, our children, so those things. So right. for example. Like right now, hi, we Jake. told them we were going to record a video and Not he showed in. up. So Yeah, but I need to ask a question. No, you don't. Okay, so uh, the whole thing with communication. Before the pandemic, I was working two days from home, three days in the office. I would get home probably around seven o'clock and just, I was done with everything. I would get to spend a little bit of time with Anna, deal with the kids. Um, the pandemic, I've been in the house up until recently every day working from home. And so there are things that I would see her doing that in terms of like phone calls, meetings, things that I had no idea were happening. And I'm sitting here in the room thinking like, wow, I'm not getting paid attention to at all. And, and that's one thing that happened to me. I spent a lot of time that I treasured by myself here working, but also, you know, sometimes I nap because I get up early so you so early you never said to me mm -hmm. how unhappy you were that i was working from home like i didn't hear no, that I, weekly no at the beginning of the pandemic it was super helpful um because we were in this together and well, we yeah, and the kids were also home and the kids were home learning. and so then when when yeah. i left to work it was good that he was here manning the kids and so on but that got to him too because I don't know if you've noticed, and, and tell us if this resonates with you, if your communication is worse now that you've spent so much time together, confined in, in, in your home, or better. L leave it in the comments, and if you would like, please subscribe. But um, what I was saying is that when if you would have told us, oh, you're gonna get to hang out all the time together, and you're gonna have to get to be 24 seven together, we would have said, oh, that would be awesome. But we had wait, nowhere wait, wait, to go. Wait, wait, who would have said that? Well, like when we dream about retiring and traveling and all that. Do you really dream about spending all day with me? I don't think so. Like for your retirement, do you think like, wow, how can I spend all my day with my husband hanging out? No, 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 no one really does, no. right? No, that's why people pick up hobbies yeah. like uh, golf, knitting. Um, Things that get them out of the house. Yeah, golf. Golf could be one. I mean, I could see you golfing because that's about the extent of athleticism. So you don't have I've to get tried, hurtful. Uh, I've have tried to get, to get you to play tennis. I mean? I've tried to get you to no, play tennis. No, I don't want to run around refuse. after a ball. But anyway, so there was so much that we had to do and then that we were navigating together. At the beginning, it was great. Yeah. Then I left and he could man the kids. But there, there's an expectation that I want to be by myself doing my own thing at some point. Uh, that would be any time that you're home. Because... I wanted to miss him, and I think that's the part. Steve no, thought that he was here, want and we wanted to do. Want Steve wanted to chat all the time. I, another thing is that he'll call me on the phone and be like, "When are you getting home?" And I'm like, "Okay, but that's because I want to move the car." Because he doesn't want to move the car that he parks on the street. Because parking's tough. City parking can be challenging, especially when there's a lot of construction. And I'm like, I have and things to do. Care. I'm working outside, and so. I've put more on my plate and 
Oh, here's another thing. When he's working from home, the kids don't register that he's working. We don't have a separate level. We don't have a basement. We don't have an office he can close his door to. So they come in and out to see him and he's great. There are times where he wants to take a break, but I've noticed that he works longer hours at home. Yes. And then he comes out of the bedroom and there is not that time to decompress that you would get on the train or the drive back. Right. So that intensity from work or the bad mood from work would bleed into our family life. But I love my job. That's my true. My job is the ideal job. I is a dream job. Yeah, they're watching. That's why he's saying yeah. that. So it's like a hostage video. So yeah, I, I'm a so it's sometimes I feel sometimes I feel like it's a little ironic that we have spent so much time together and we have lost the ability to communicate. So what do you, oh and another thing was when how was your partner about COVID? because since I started going out and working in a mask and so on, I got a little bit more comfortable outside than he did. Um, and so we, the date nights were gone and I understood that, especially before we were vaccinated and mm -hmm. when winter hit, like when in the summer we were able to go out a little more. Yeah. But in the winter, he's like, I'm not going out anywhere. We're not going to a restaurant. We're not hanging out with people. And then I tried to do it at home but it's impossible because our kids don't go to bed at an hour that I can handle. Because this has been, and Steve has always said it, the challenge in our relationship is that I work really early mornings, so I want to go to bed at nine, and he's a night owl. So our kids go to bed at 10 o'clock at night, I'm falling asleep at 11 on him. You make it that mm. No, sometimes, like I think when I was working from home, I was better. And then oh, we, well, yeah, yeah. yeah because I wasn't running around or right. whatever. So that's had, that has been the challenge. Yeah. Hopefully now that we had COVID and that things are getting better, we'll, we'll force ourselves and, and look forward to that day where we can go out on a date. Yeah. Anything else you think we can do? You could start playing tennis. And you could have that activity. Um, can I go watch you play tennis? Against what the wall? No, when you go play with your friends. No, I don't. Even oh, because those section. are your tennis friends. Yes, because they're people who will play tennis with me. Mm -hmm. It's like you think like I'm good at it. I'm not. Anybody that's seen me play knows that I'm not. Um, in terms of like, what can we do? I don't know. I think that the challenge with having more time together, or more time at the same place. I don't want to say together. I think it's just carving out. I mean, you know, the weather's going to get nicer, so I'm going to be willing to go out. I'm still not ready to go inside and eat inside. I understand that the mask mandate is being lifted, but I still feel like the pandemic. I mean, I'm still more on edge than most people, and you know, and boy, did that help us. Didn't get COVID. We got COVID, and then the mandate was lifted. Yeah, like right they were as like, like right yeah. as it's almost out the door. <laughs> we like got the foot sick. Was the foot the foot was almost out the door, and then they're like, "Hey, hold on, let's get you guys." But I think yeah. one good thing we do in our marriage is that we work on it, and it's, it hasn't been hard work. He still makes me laugh, and uh, I most of the time enjoy his company. Um, I'd Just like to miss not him between more. Between the hours of nine and nine to seven. Five. Nine to five. Nine to seven. Nine in the morning. But anyway, we we yeah. thought we had to keep it real for you because it would be really disingenuous if we were trying to. Did I pronounce that right? Disingenuous. Yeah. Uh, if we tried sure. to sell you like tips on how to make a marriage work, when right now we're both like, oh, we gotta get back on track before twenty one. And we know. I don't know if you know. You. I know a lot of people uh, that have that in twenty twenty one split up or a it lot of marriages like that broke up of... because you know and a lot of the you know the common denominator is that they were spending time together and they could really see the problem for some marriages so right so you know we'll figure it out other stuff too yeah and well, it's it's been tough, but I it's think tough it to exacerbates see. if you were having oh, problems yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, but also just because you can't avoid each other no, and, and there were people who were having, doing some things on their own, mm -hmm. having their own, like being a couple, but still having some things that you call your mm -hmm. own. Mm -hmm. And that kind of went out the window. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And so that made it sometimes too much time together is not necessarily the best thing for a relationship. 
There you have it. It's just us being very candid. Tell us what you think, yeah. what you recommend we can do. Um, that is not me playing tennis. <laughs> like and subscribe. Thank you, honey.